I know. Hey everybody, welcome to Shop Talk. My name is Keith. I'm here with my 13-year-old friend Bob. Hey guys, I'm Bob. I'm with Keith, <laughs> my old fuddy duddy friend. Yeah, we're here today uh, to deal with a real serious issue. Uh, we've gotten some emails from customers, it's a and unfortunately, well, they, it's, it's, it's serious. It's a serious issue. Yeah, they have a, a wobble in their axis. Ooh, yeah, and it's not good. No, I almost it's not. need to see a chiropractor about something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, you probably do. Yeah. Well, anyway, what what we're talking about, of course, is the uh, z-axis of your E4 or E3, and we've had some folks notice that when they are homing their machine, that that little helical coupler right there does a bit of a hula dance, and so we want to talk. <laughs> You'd be good with the ukulele. Yeah, well, we could do we that whole thing. Okay. But anyway, okay. uh, we want to talk about... Serious issues. Well, issue. it is, because yeah. you don't want to have a wobble. No. But anyway, uh, why are we using a helicopter? What causes wobble? How do you fix it, address it, whatever? Okay, well, there's ahead, a lot Bob. of questions, so I'm just going to start wherever I want. You, well, you would anyway. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of dis the, uh, describe the uh, design intent. Right of of the way I thought this intent should, should work. versus actuality. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know. Okay. So uh, what 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 this does is we have a threaded rod, and of course, if you turn the rod and there's a nut here, it'll it'll uh, send the axis up and down. But we need to make sure that the rod stays uh, in the correct position, actually, right? So that's where we take these uh, two nuts and we clamp them onto the bearing, right? Now that's the first place where you might have an issue uh, if one of the nuts, and this doesn't happen very often, but it does happen, is that you'll get a nut that's offset, so it's it's the threads are put there at crooked. So if you have them tightened up and you spin it, you'll be able to feel the bearing walk back and forth. That's no good. One thing you can try is to flip the nuts over the other way and try again, or uh, get a, a couple of other 5 16 nuts. And uh, this is an issue that we're working on. And uh, again, it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. And uh, so we'll let you know. Uh, one thing we thought of is just putting an extra couple of nuts in the package, right? And then you'd be able to solve that uh, okay. problem. So that's, that's number one. These actually need to be tightened really tight, by the way. You need to clamp them down. The theory is, is they clamp down on the inner race. So now the only thing that can turn is the outer race and it spins on it. So then if we took the pieces, we have something that holds the bottom of the outer race. And then we have the, the one with the larger hole basically centers uh, the bearing. And then we have the top plate and we want to clamp these three screws evenly. Now the bearing is seven millimeters thick and the wood is six millimeters thick. So you have about a, a millimeter of compression. So you need to tighten these down a little bit at a time and tighten those evenly. If you were to just, just tighten all the one down, you might get it to camera and then you would still have the wobble. Right. Okay. One of the uh, things that some of our uh, clever customers are doing, uh, they would take and put a, a washer on each one of these screws and then set this on there. And a washer that will fit those screws is approximately a millimeter thick. It's actually a little thin. So they could still get it to where you're clamping that bearing and it still works so you might try that you're getting uh, more even pressure yeah and you're not okay. you're not compressing the wood as far because okay. the washer is taking up that millimeter however if your washer is uh, too thick you'll have a little axial movement that you don't want so you'll just need to be careful there okay so that's the next thing uh, the following or the, I guess the next item we would get is it's the rod itself uh, would be bent. Now guys, we check these. Every last one of them we put on a granite table and roll around and we have a spec for flatness. Uh, these are heat treated and so heat treated stuff moves when it's heat treated so sometimes we'll get some bows and warps. We try not to send those out. We may miss one every once in a while. If we do, just let us know and we'll definitely take care of you. Yep. But again, that happens very rarely. So the next thing that, uh, and probably the final thing, is the uh, coupler that sits on the top. If when you're spinning, you notice that uh, it's kind of at an angle and you do not have any cut 
or any cut. Gap. You do have a gap. Thank you. Gap. Uniform gap. A uniform all gap. All the way around. All the way around in the helical Keep cup. Keep it simple, Bob. There we go. <laughs> if you don't have that, what could be happening is it spins around. It kind of just jams. So what you'll want to do is loosen the top two set screws, pull up just about a millimeter, and then as you're holding That's it. I pull just a millimeter. Okay. Or 20 or 30 thousandths. Actually, a millimeter is right yeah, at 40 okay. thousandths, but 20 to 30 thousandths. Pull it up. Kristen's looking at me like, oh no, he's doing numbers again. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, and then go ahead and while you're holding it up, go ahead and tighten up the set screws right. and see if you can find. The, the, the truth of the matter is, is if you get it together, there is virtually no wobble. If, if, if everything goes as planned, as the engineer would hope it would, but it's difficult to get that in, in some cases. So those are the things that you're going to want to look for. And if you've tried those things and you still can't get it for sure, email the help desk at bobcnc.com and uh, we'll take a look at it uh, on an individual basis. But uh, we'll show you a picture of what it should look like or a video. I think uh, Keith and Kristen have done a, yep. a short video of the V movement. So guys, good luck with your wobble. May the wobble be with you. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah, okay, whatever. No, we don't want the to force, wobble with anybody. The force be with you? No. Uh, may the non-wobble be with you. I don't know. Okay, either way, guys, if you got questions. Oh, God. If you got questions, Please uh, email us at If Shop I did Talk. that, I'd be hearing all kinds of crap. Like, what would you just do it on the TV? Did it break it? Yeah. Oh, you man. You got buy a new one. <laughs> Please email us at shoptalk at bobcnc.com if you got questions. Thanks, guys.